All right, very briefly, I want to talk about timestamps. I want to talk about date now and date value of. So these are two different methods that we can use to get timestamps if you need to track a timestamp, if you need to know exactly when something happened on your web page, we can use timestamps. Now in JavaScript, a timestamp is the number of milliseconds that has passed since January 1st, 1970, and at exactly midnight. So January 1st, 1970 at 12 o'clock and zero seconds. Since then, the number of milliseconds has passed. That's what a timestamp is. All right, now we have a date object in JavaScript. The date object itself, the parent, not the class, but the parent object has a method called now. This will give you a timestamp. So we can write out timestamp one. And then if we go over here and we run this, there we are. There's the current timestamp. Now there's an alternative way to do this. If you have a date object and you use the constructor method, say new date, what you're getting here is the current time on your computer. So if I were to write this out log today, this again. There we are. That's what we get by default from the new date object. It gives us the current string that represents the current time. Now, if I want to get the timestamp out of today, this variable right here, so this specific date object, I want the timestamp from it as opposed to this. I don't have to create a date. I don't have to pick a certain point in time. I'm just saying from the date object built into JavaScript, what is the timestamp right now? So this is something that's known as a class method or an, a static method. You may be familiar with one of those terms. For here, since we have an instance of the date object, <clears throat> pardon me, since we have an instance of the date object, I can say out of this timestamp right here, I want to extract what the current timestamp is. So from this date object, what is the timestamp? And the value of method will go into this object that we created right here today and extract its timestamp. Stamp two. Run this again. There we are. So here is the timestamp for date now. Here's the timestamp for this. And you can see there was actually three milliseconds difference between the two of them. If I run this again, that three seconds difference, run it again. Four seconds or four milliseconds difference rather. Either one of these is going to work to provide you with a timestamp. It's just think about why you need the timestamp. Is it you have a date object and you need to know what the timestamp was from that time? Or do you have a timestamp that you need for this moment in time, at this point in my code, what is the timestamp? <clears throat> Pardon me again. <clears throat> so this is known as an instance method because you're working with the instance of the date. You created an instance of the date and you're asking it for its method. Okay, and that's date now versus date value of. Any questions, please leave in the comments. Thanks for watching.